Welcome to ServicePlusAutoNY.com. Today's topic, should you let your car warm up in the winter? In areas where there is cold weather and snow and ice, warming up the car for a while so it gets warm before you climb in it sounds like a good idea. But does letting the engine warm up make it run any better during the winter? Or is that just a myth because people want to be more comfortable in cold conditions? The truth to the matter might surprise you. Warming up the car is not necessary during the winter months. And in actuality, there are a lot of reasons why you should not let a car sit and warm up for several minutes, no matter what time of year it is. Mechanics have stated that fuel-injected engines are so efficient and technologically well-built that they require no idling in order to warm up. They need about 10 seconds of time for fluids to run through the parts, and then the engine is ready to go. The temperature gauge inside the car does not need to read a specific level before it is safe to drive a vehicle. It only monitors the temp in case it were to look like it was going to overheat. Idling a car in the garage is actually more harmful than it is helpful for several reasons. The first reason is that the gas is wasted in your car when it sits and runs in the driveway. There is no need to let a car sit for 15 minutes to run so the engine gets warm, because it will warm up faster as it is being driven down the road. The creatures inside the car might prefer it to sit longer and get warm, but it is not needed in order to protect the engine. Environmentalists also argue that idling cars is dangerous. They claim the more cars sit and run, the more emissions are being released into the air. While that is true to a point, most cars have catalytic converters, which keep a lot of emissions from escaping into the ozone layer. Even though a car is running, it doesn't mean it is polluting the air. It is using up gas, which is considered a resource, and has to be produced, so the emissions can come from the fuel processing needed to run the car at idle. The exhaust from an idling car can be dangerous if it is in an area that is not well ventilated. If a vehicle is idling in a garage, the door needs to be opened. If it is outside, it needs to be away from open windows and doors. If there is a car idling near you, you might want to walk away to ensure your breathing space stays clean and pure. To find out more information on topics like this, then go to serviceplusautony.com.